Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, oh, sorry, Mrs. Crab. A book. Oh, yes, I would like to read a book. Oh, what is it? The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch. Oh, I don't know this story. Do you know this story, children? Have you been reading it with Miss Booth and Mrs. Crab? Oh, I hope it's a good story. And it looks to me like there's going to be a lighthouse in this story. I really like lighthouses. I'd like to go and visit that one. Perhaps we could go and visit the lighthouse. Would you like to come with me? Let's see if we can go right to the top of the lighthouse. Now, I'll need to take my lunch with me. I've got my lunch here in my basket and I've put this cloth over the top to keep it safe. Do you think it will be safe in there? I do hope so because I've got my sandwiches and I've got my salad. And oh, there's a nice drink in there as well. So I'm going to take that with me. Come on, children. Let's go to the top of the lighthouse. OK, you ready? Here we go. Oh, it is nice up here, isn't it? It's a good view. I can see the sea and the rocks below. Now, from up here on the top of the lighthouse, let's see if we can find out a little bit about the story and you can help me. So what I need you to do is to look at the rocks below and the story will appear there. Now, the first thing I want to find out is apparently there's a problem in the story. What's the problem? Let's see, look at the rocks, children. Oh, look, there are some cheeky seagulls down there. Looks like they're stealing the lighthouse keeper's lunch. Well, I hope they don't steal my lunch. I would be very sad. Oh dear, that poor lighthouse keeper. Oh, I wonder. I wonder what the lighthouse keeper is going to think about that. What's he going to do? Well, did they come up with any good ideas? Did the lighthouse keeper and his wife come up with any ideas how they could stop the seagulls stealing the lunch? What do you think? Look down in the rocks. Let's see what we can come up with. Oh, that's a good idea. I could do that with my lunch. Tape it down. Take the cloth on to stop the seagulls getting in there. That's a good idea. Do you think that will work to keep the seagulls out? Well, let's take a little look. Oh, no. Those cheeky seagulls are saying they'll have to try harder than this to stop us. Oh, so that didn't work. Did they come up with any other ideas? Oh, OK. Oh, there's Hamish the cat. Are they putting Hamish the cat in the basket? I wonder if that will keep the seagulls away. Well, I would have thought so. I would have thought the seagulls would be scared of the cat, wouldn't they? Let's see what happens. Oh, dear. Poor old Hamish looks a little bit scared, doesn't he? Well, that hasn't kept the seagulls away. Oh, dear. I wonder if they've got any other ideas. Can you remember any from the story? Oh, let's have a look down on the rocks. Mustard. Well, I like mustard in my sandwiches but I'd only like a little bit because mustard is quite strong and quite hot and it makes your eyes water a little bit. So that's a good idea, making mustard sandwiches. I wonder what that would do. Will that keep the seagulls away? Let's have a little look. Oh yeah, they don't like it. They go, yuck, ah. They don't like this, the mustard sandwiches at all. So that will probably be a good idea for me to make sure I've got some mustard sandwiches in there. But I wonder, I wonder if we could come up with our own ideas of what we could do to make sure the seagulls don't eat our lunch. Now, let me have a little think. What would I do? Ah, I know. Perhaps I could make an electric lunchbox to shock the seagulls. So when they came near it, and they'd get an electric shock. Mind you, that seems a little bit cruel, doesn't it? So I'm not too sure about that idea. Um, let's have another think. What else could I do? Oh. I know, in the olden days, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, to protect castles, they used to use big machines, or to try and attack castles rather, big machines called a trebuchet. There we go, I could build a trebuchet and use that to fire stones at the seagulls to scare them off. What do you think about that idea? Yeah, that seems a little bit cruel as well, doesn't it? Okay, I'll have another think. Um, oh. I know what I could do. I could just make a seagull proof lunchbox so that the seagulls can't get into it. Make it nice and strong. 
that seems like a good idea, doesn't it? So for my idea, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to do a design. I need to draw it out and label it. And perhaps if you could do a design for your fantastic idea of how to keep the seagulls out of the lighthouse keeper's lunch, you could draw it out and share that with us because we'd like to see it. And then once you've got a fantastic design, the next thing to do would be to make it, to create it and think about what materials you'll need and what tools you will need. Uh, you might make it out of Lego or boxes or any, any uh, junk modeling stuff that you've got at home. You can make it out of anything you want. So this is our challenge for you today. Can you design and make a, a container for your lunch uh, that will keep it safe from the seagulls or any other design that will protect the lunch from the seagulls. And once you've done it, you can share it on Tapestry or you can put it on Facebook page for everybody to see. Now, I'm getting a little bit peckish now. So I'm going to go and have my lunch because luckily the seagulls haven't got in there yet. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your designs and your creations. So good luck with that. I hope you enjoy doing that and see you later on. Bye-bye.